Ah, video game sales. They are one of the most amazing marketing tactics you can use, period. The amount of times I bought games on Steam because they were like nothing in <laughs> compared to what they usually cost has been way too many times. I I've done it a lot, you know, and honestly, it's opened me up to a lot of video games that I wouldn't have really played otherwise. Case in point, the Danganronpa series I picked up for literally nothing. I think I picked it up for maybe 70% off at one point during a Steam sale, and I loved it. Would I have bought this game full price? Probably not, but you know what? At the end of the day, I got it for nothing, and I decided to get it, and I tried it out, and I had an amazing time. Games like the Stalker series, absolutely liked it. I mean, I picked it up for nothing, great game series. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But the thing is... Game sales, at the end of the day, are a giant marketing tactic. These sales revive game franchises, without a doubt. That's why you'll notice as time and time goes on, whenever a game has a new content update or whatnot, a sale goes through. It reinvigorates, it revitalizes the community. It allows people who look at a price tag once lower to say, hey, maybe the barrier of entry is gone. I can get into it. It just eases that slur edge in. Now, Steam isn't the only place to do video game sales. I've gotten great sales at Uplay, EA Origins. Honestly, Xbox Store and PlayStation is probably one of the strongest sale fronts for me. I love getting sales. Again, it just kills the barrier of entry. There's plenty of places you can go to. There are deals every week on every storefront, and I'm sure a lot of you and I check it out from time to time. We might even impulse buy because things are so cheap. Now, you know what store can't do sales? It's Epic Games. And honestly, the last uh, couple days has been an entire shit show dumpster fire for Epic. And look, I get, it's easy to shit on Epic Games, it's been done to death. Good, because they kind of deserve it. <laughs> now listen, this storefront that I've been going to with Epic Games, it's been having its big Epic Mega Sale. And the thing with the Epic Mega Sale is a lot of stuff is put onto it. That is, before it gets taken down by the publisher themselves. See, in order to do a sale, Epic decided it's probably best to just run a sale without even notifying publishers, or keeping it pretty shady under wraps. Which is why games like Borderlands 3, Bloodlines 2, Vampire the Masquerade were taken away. Why? Because Epic decided to discount these games without really notifying the developer. Now look, if Epic was doing it on their dime where they said, you know what? We'll give you $10 off, or 15 or whatever, which they didn't do, then maybe it would have been different, but guess what? Epic decided it's probably better to not notify the developers and call it a day. But it gets even better. Imagine buying multiple games, which people often do during a sale, and getting told that your account is flagged for infraudulent activity, or buying too much, or you just can't buy a game, period, until Epic reviews the account. I mean, being treated like a criminal after having given money, having receipts processed, money transferred, is just the ultimate slap to the face. I mean, going onto Epic Store themselves, noticing that, hey, there's not even a shopping cart functionality. It's already too much. Look, I get it. It's Epic Game Store. It's their infancy. And you know what? I'm all for competition. By all means, I am okay with Epic showing up. There is nothing against it. I've even bought a game off Epic Game Store, okay? So you know what? I've already given money to the devil. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the thing about this is, is that, look, if you're going to make a comp competitive store, Please have some basic features. Look, I get you don't have cloud saving. I get you don't have linking old files to the launcher. I get you don't have a lot of the common conveniences that every launcher has but you. But for the love of God, just have a fucking shopping cart, dude. It's a shopping cart. I mean, this whole problem could have been alleviated with a shopping cart of all things. Buying too much. Yes, buying too much off of their store is enough to get you flagged for infraudulent. Giving Epic Games too much money and too many, too many times can get you thrown out. And look, I get it. Maybe it's a system flag. Maybe it's whatever. But please, when you're doing a sale, are these things not to be expected? I mean, this past four days, I'm sorry. I don't like talking too much about Epic Game Store. I get it. A lot of people do. But dude, listen to this shit. You cannot create... You're making a competitive storefront and you're doing stuff like this. I just said sales are an amazing way to advertise your game. They 
they really are. And if you look at how things are placed on sale from time to time, it makes sense why they're a great tool for making a lot of money. Lots of developers do it. But if you're an if you're a game front, a game store doing it, you have to notify your your publishers. You have to notify your business partners that a sale is going on. You have to be able to make buying games an easy proposition on your storefront. The fact that I don't even think they have multiple currencies at this point. It, Basic basic principles for a storefront is already signs enough that the the entire concept of the store is headed in the wrong direction. Look, I'm all against PC launcher exclusives. I think they're stupid at the end of the day. Look, locking us to launcher locking us to launchers period, whether it be Steam or Epic, is pointless in my opinion. Look, I miss the days of old PC games where you could just like insert your serial number, call it a day download a fucking no CD crack if you had to and run it to your heart's content. That was a simpler time. But you know what? Times have changed. This launcher, however, has refused to change with the times. Look, I get it. I understand. But throwing millions of dollars at developers for exclusivizing games is not the way to win. Look, it's just a simple matter of time before you run out of enough money to keep giving developers, and then the competition that you were trying to take down will eventually come back. Look, if you're going to make a store, fucking make it easy to just buy games in general. Play games. Look, your storefront is like a fucking decade behind other storefronts. Every other storefront is a decade above. Look, when I talk about Epic, I compare it to not just Steam, but to Origins, to Uplay, to GOG, to Xbox, to PlayStation, to Nintendo Switch, to every storefront. Dude, Nintendo Switch, one of the, Nintendo, one of the companies that was so far behind when it came to, you know, network connectivity, they have a storefront on the Switch, they have fucking sales, they communicate with the publishers about sales, I've never gotten fucking bitch slapped by Nintendo for buying too much for God's sakes, and now that I see it happening over here, I mean, no other launcher does this, you can go to Bethesda Net of all sakes and they won't do it, dude, you could go to an MMO launcher and they probably wouldn't do it, this is the first time I've heard of this shit happening, ever, period. And who's it coming from? The new big kid on the block. Look, you got money. You got money to throw around, but you gotta be smart with how you do it. This is entirely what I would talk about with competition. Now it's beyond just the sale. If you want to be a prominent showcase in the market, you have to do something beyond the very bare essentials. And I see a lot of people defending it like, and I never understand the defense argument. Look, we shouldn't be personally invested in which launcher is the best. Look. No one should care about whether they like Steam or... Dude, at the end of the day, you're trying to play a game. This is just a piece of DRM in the middle. All you have to look at in particular now is what provides you the benefits. Look, you don't. Epic Game doesn't even have a review system in progress. So when you're buying games, you don't even get to see a general review by the community of the game that you're purchasing. They didn't even decide to stuff Metacritic reviews of all things. Just, just as a side thing, there are so many features that are missing for no reason whatsoever and the amount of defense that i hear about this launcher like oh it's just getting started six months later we'll get a fucking review system M maybe a year from now we'll get a shopping cart implemented it's just absurd look you don't have to defend this because it's the fucking underdog because <laughs> because it's standing up to steam you shouldn't defend shit period if it doesn't match up to what it should be doing. Look, if Steam didn't do half the stuff anyways, yeah, I'd be bitching about it. If Uplay was doing stuff better than Steam, yeah, I'd talk about it. If EA was doing better than Steam, yeah, I'd support EA more. Whoever gives you the most features, whoever provides the better product to use in general, should be given the support. Throwing money around is a very stupid thing to do because it's not going to get you what you want. Buying exclusives only lasts for a while, especially timed shit. You telling me six months later people just won't buy the game on the other platform that they prefer to play on anyways that provides a better service? I mean, realistically, you should think about it. I never conceived in my life that a fucking video game sale was rocket science for a game company to do, but apparently it is. Apparently buying multiple copies, apparently buying multiple products all in one batch wasn't happening. Buying them separately would only happen to an extent. And you know what? There is really no update that I've gotten out of Epic for whatever reason. It's all fine and dandy though, because you know what? At the end of the day, this is only one thing that puts the nail into the coffin. I really hope Epic gets better. Like I said, I am all down with Epic Games joining the industry, joining as a storefront. The more competition, the better. But at the end of the day, we want good competition, not forceful competition. This doesn't make any sense. And honestly, from a long-term perspective, 
perspective, it's not going to be around here enough to really make a dent if it keeps going this way. You can tell me you have a roadmap six months, a year down the line, but as somebody who knows about software development, at the end of the day, knowing the resources that Epic has, knowing what they want to achieve and you know what they want out of their out of their launcher this stuff should have been implemented a long time ago you can't tell me for no good reason that this basic stuff that i just mentioned isn't in already this is stuff that every launcher has had since its inception you know years ago a lot of the when, when we started to have different launchers because of steam's absolute bullshit prices and their cuts you know when other developers like uh, ubisoft and uh, EA were making their own launchers where people could buy games from them directly. Yet, yeah, when they started to create those launchers, they already had that shit in place. And Epic Games, they came at the tail end when all of the stuff was an industry standard and didn't bring it to practice. You can't tell me that this shit shouldn't have been brought in from the forefront. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Epic Mega Sale dumpster fire. If you have anything to say, please let me know in the comment section below. That being said, I got a question. What game sale have you recently dived into? And did they ever <laughs> kick you out? Did they ever shut down your account for buying too much? That is what I want to know. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.